What's going on, family? Coming back to you with another video. So get this video a big thumbs up. So it looks like Caitlin, the Caitlin Clark effect, I should say, has cost the WNBA more than forty million. Uh. So guys, I'm telling, I'm here to tell you the information, and this is shocking. Exclusive story released by the New York Post. Not too many people have been reporting on this. I've seen like one person report on this, but I'm here to tell you that man, this was mind boggling. When I first came across the story, I didn't believe. I thought it was a clickbait. You know, but when you look at everything as a whole and look at the history of this league, it all makes sense, man. It always comes down to the money, right? So the NBA has been invested in the WNBA since 1996, and they have not seen a return on their investment all these damn years, bro. <laughs> like, I, look, look, I don't really do the cursing, but look, I was just shocked. So I like, look, look, all these years, man. So, um. Yes, until last year. So basically, you got from 1996 all the way up to 2024 when they finally made a return on the investment. Now, granted, there has been ways here and there, but all the money that have, they have been wanting to get back, they finally kind of kind of got a little extra this year because of Caden Clark. And I'm getting worried that Adam Silver ain't playing no games when he finna, he finna make sure that these NBA owners get every darn dollar back that they invested into this league, which such as the WNBA. And it's just crazy that a lot of these women was arguing and bickering about Caitlin Clark coming into this league, making the splash. That's the way she did. But but y'all mad about it, but not knowing that the league itself, the league itself, owed a lot of debt. And the debt that's being owed goes to these NBA owners. And that's the biggest story ever. Now, we know they got that opt-in date, which is set for November 1st with these young ladies going on, um, the protest strike. We don't know yet. But one thing I could tell you guys for sure is that they owe these NBA owners an anonymous. And I'll have to say this. It's an anonymous amount of money because we don't know exactly how much they owe the NBA owners. But one thing I could tell you for sure it's in the billions, bro. And we got this article presented to you guys that you guys can see on the screen. And it's the New York Post. And it's being reported that the WNBA will lose $40 million this season and, it, and its NBA investors are growing impatient. Okay? And that's what I was telling you guys, man. These NBA owners have been waiting since 1996 to see a return on their investment. And they ain't too fine of all these ladies bashing Caitlin Clark either because how y'all going to bash the money maker? We need our money and y'all ain't helping build this league and y'all ain't putting no money in it. And it's funny because they want all this money out of the league but they ain't putting nothing in the darn league. But y'all better leave her alone as in Caitlin Clark, man, because she making the money for these NBA owners to get their return on investment. Now, the article goes on to say while the WNBA is getting sellout crowds for the finals between the New York Liberty and Minnesota Lynx, the league's owners will not be making a return on their investment for a foreseeable for the foreseeable future, sources close to the situation said. The NBA owners, the NBA owns nearly 60% of the league. When one combines the NBA owners' personal stakes in WNBA teams and the WNBA itself, the amount rises to 75% a source with direct knowledge of the numbers said. And as we scroll down, look, man, it, 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 this is wild. That's all I got to say. It's wild. But it stated that the NBA team owners have invested hundreds of millions into the WNBA since its 1996 formation, per sources. The WNBA owes the NBA so much, we won't see any windfall for years. An NBA team executive told the Post, "This season, the WNBA will lose 40 million, a bit better than the 50 million forecast and reported by the several media outlets months ago, but still a loss." Sources said, "Starting in the 2026 season, the WNBA will get up to 2.2 billion over 11 years as part of the new basketball media contracts." Right, man. Now, that is Adam Silver right here at the mic. And I'm here to tell you Adam Silver is standing on business. He got to because at the end of the day, this league is in a firestorm situation. They need Adam Silver 
and Adam Silver is determined to get these NBA owners paid up. Now, this is just crazy because I don't think nobody knew the severity of how bad the WNBA owed these NBA owners. And I'm here to tell you it's pretty bad. Now, the article goes on to say, that means likely at least $100 million annually increase from what the WNBA currently makes from national media contract, which is around $60 million. The WNBA is also set to expand its regular season and playoff schedule to generate more revenue. But the players are expected to opt out of the current collective bargaining contract by November 1st deadline. Mm. And that's what I was telling you guys. In the beginning of the video, so November 1st, the players can opt out of this thing, and who knows what could happen. Now, the article goes on to say the deadline, and if they do not, if they do not, and if they do that, if they do, means salaries are likely to rise. So if they opt in or they, or they, if they opt out or they do opt in, that means salaries will rise, right? Which would eat into the potential 60 million 2026 profit by the league, right? And then. We go down, and we ain't getting it. Look, at the end of the day, the hundred million in the television revenue, turning the project forty million loss into a sixty million gain. Um, look, we ain't getting any of that money from the WNBA expansion fees. The NBA team executive said. NBA owners do see money from the NBA expansion fees. So it look like, look, man, they mad and they real mad. They mad. The NBA owners are mad. That means when Golden State owners Joe Lakeup last year agreed to a $50 million expansion fee over 10 years. Oh, yeah. And WNBA team and Raptors majority owner Larry. Look, man. Larry, um... Tanet Boehm, I don't know how to say his name, but I look, look. That's his name. I highlighted it for you. This year paid uh $115 million for a Toronto team and a new practice center. None of the proceeds went to NBA owners. Look, man, that's crazy. So NBA owners want more transparency from NBA Commissioner Adam Silver about when they will get to see some return from the suddenly popular WNBA. New York Knicks owners, or New York Knicks owner James Dolan, has been pushing silver behind the scenes, sources said. And there's a bunch of owners who see Dolan as their hero for pressing silver on the questions, but silver is not giving any answers. The NBA team executive said Dolan declined comment. Quote, unquote, WNBA financials, including detailed reports on the revenue and expenses, are shared with both the NBA's and WNBA's Board of Governors. NBA spokesman Mike Bass told the Post, declining to comment further. Quote, unquote, this is somewhat BS, and they are consolidating it with the NBA financials, the team executive said. By consolidating numbers, you don't have to break any, you don't have to break out any of them. So... Look, man, now y'all could be mad at, at these people. Now, Caden Clark came and said and, and saved the day because she came in and started making the money for even it to be a potential for them to even have a return on their investment. I'm talking about the NBA owners. But it's up to, to y'all, the WNBA. It's up to y'all because, look, y'all ain't fixing the problem. And that's what it's looking like. These these NBA owners looking like, look, y'all got somebody that's the golden goose coming in making the money, and it's up to y'all to fix this problem. Y'all need to fix it fast. That's what they basically saying. And I ain't mad at them. So Tor Toronto owners want to know. Now, we know the viewership and everything is up, but I don't think no one knew that they've been owing these NBA owners since 1996 and the Golden State War the Golden State owners and Toronto owners want to know the financials and they like hey we ain't trying to wait you know some nearly 30 years to see a return on our investment so bro what's the update and i just gave you 150 mil and then the other owner like look i just gave you 50 mil come on adam silver let us know what we going let us know when we going to see a return on our investment so right now the WNBA has no answers 
They're currently operating in the red. So I want to know you guys' perspective. Get down in the comments. Let me know you guys' thoughts, perspective, and insight. And give this video a big thumbs up. And on that note, family, peace.